This question says the graph in the figure represents the curves of fx is equal to cos ax and gx is equal to b sin x. Now we say x is between negative 180 and 180. Now we have two graphs here. We have the graph of g and we have the graph of f. Now the first question a says determine a and b. Now this a and b comes from our equation here. So A comes from the cos x graph. Now, as you can see, the cos x graph is the f graph, so meaning this graph over here. Now, whenever you're trying to find your A, this A is in between the cos and the x, you use your period to help you get A, right? So A is 360 divided by the period of the graph. The graph of f, the period is 180. So this here is equals to 2. So a will be equals to 2. For b, gx is equals to b sine x. So we'll say that the b is your amplitude. Looking at our g, which is this graph, the sine graph, you can get your amplitude from the highest point minus the lowest point divided by 2. So the highest point is a half minus the lowest point, which is negative 2, divided by 2, which is 1 over 2, right? So your B would be 1 over 2, but this graph is the reflection across the x-axis of the original sine x graph. So for that reason, it will have a negative. So our answer is negative half. So for B write down the period of g now g is our sine graph and we can see that it completes a full circle in 360 degrees so the answer for this would be 360 degrees um for c they ask what is the minimum value of f minimum value is the lowest possible point which is negative one so the answer here is just negative one so d the question says how many values of x will f x plus half equals to g of x having the given interval now to answer this question it would be best to rewrite it properly so i can move the fx over to the other side so i can write it like this gx minus fx is equals to one over two right so this is the same as that. Now, one thing you need to understand here is that how we we'll look for it in our graph is that we're looking for where gx is above fx, okay? And the difference between g and f, the y of g and the y of f, the difference needs to give you half. Now, this question here doesn't actually want the x value. The question wants how many. So, how many x values do we actually have, right? So, there's a very different thing here. You want how many values of x not what is the x value right so we are counting it we have to count it out. okay we have one we have two we have three something like that okay so coming up to our graph here we are focusing like i said where g is above f so if i highlight it a bit i'm looking at g is above f in this interval and g is above f in this interval so from this point of intersection g is above until this point of intersection now, the distance between them at the point of intersection is obviously zero, right? Because they meet at that point. There's no difference between G and Fx. And now, if you look at the highest point, from this highest point of G to the lowest point of F, we can see that the difference here would be 1, 1 over 2. I got that because the distance from here to here is 1 over 2, and the distance from here to here is a full 1 unit, right? So the total distance will be 1, 1 1.5 units or 1.5 units. Now, if the difference here is 0, and at the highest point, difference is 1, 1 over 2, we understand that between here to here, you will get at least one point that the difference would be half. And if you look at from 1, 1 over 2, to zero again, you will also get one point in which the difference would also be half again. 
From here, you should get two values of x in which the difference between g and f is 1 over 2. On this side here, we can see the lowest point is negative half and the lowest point here is negative 1. So the difference between this would be half unit. So this is also another x value that the difference is half. So we have three in total. So the answer we just need to give for this is just how many values of x with fx plus half equals to gx have in this given interval. We'll say that we just have three of them. That's it.